You better not promise things to Earth Day people that you can't deliver. Earth Day people can be very unforgiving. Happy Earth Day, everybody. That most sacred feast in our secular liturgical calendar when people worship a pagan nature goddess in a holiday that was established by a man best known for murdering and composting his girlfriend. You can't say that he wasn't consistent. <laughs> to mark this year's Earth Day, we will be going back through some of the most important pieces of wisdom from the patron saint of Earth Day. This clip is brought to you by Genucel. More from Genucel in just a little bit. For now, though, let's get to those words of wisdom from Greta. And now, the weather forecast with Greta Thunberg. It's hot! That was the weather with Greta Thunberg. It's not nice. It's, it's, uh, it's not. I'm going to have to have a talking to with my producers because you're not allowed. You are not allowed to do anything other than worship at the altar of Greta. Trust me, I speak from experience. If you ever raise any questions about the entire global left following this troubled individual, if you ever raise any questions about the exploitation of this person when she was a bit young, it will not work out well for you. There is no planet B. There is no planet blah, 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 blah. This is not about some expensive, politically correct, green act of bunny hugging or blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Over 50% of all our CO2 emissions have occurred since 1990 and a third since 2005. If this is what they consider to be climate action, then we don't want it. They invite cherry-picked young people to meetings like this to pretend that they are listening to us. But they are not. They are clearly not listening to us. She actually makes a pretty good point there. I don't believe what I'm hearing. She summarized most of what she has to say in those earlier statements. Blah, 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 blah. That, that is pretty much the substance of what she has to say. But she's right here when she says that she's just trotted out as a mascot by the corporations and by the global liberal elite. That's totally true. When they talk about, we need to get to net zero and all the emissions, and none of these people are afraid of the sun monster. None, none of these people believe it. Greta Thunberg might actually believe it herself. She may have been suckered into this nonsense. And so one could see why she'd become really frustrated if she really thought that the world were going to end two years ago or whenever they said the world is supposed to end. But the people who trot her out as their favorite mascot and pet, they don't believe it. And they are liars, and they're extremely cynical, and they've exploited her. So if I were her, I'd be pretty angry too. Now, sure, you could go to Brazil or Colombia, get crazy stuff done to your face to look younger. But why would you do that when you could just use Genucel? People are raving about Genucel products. People like Claire, who says, I absolutely love Genucel. My skin feels so good, tighter and younger, with a more even tone. And I've been using it only for a week. Nothing works like Genucel. It's a family recipe that's been perfected over 20 years by a compounding pharmacist who works in small batches and with only safe, natural, cruelty-free ingredients. With warmer weather just around the corner and our friends at GenuCell, including two springtime essentials in their most popular package, now is the time to order. You get the Ultra Retinol and the Dark Spot Corrector. Try GenuCell's most popular package for 70% off at GenuCell.com slash Knowles. All orders are upgraded to free shipping and every subscription order includes a complimentary spring spa box with three spa essentials. It's three free gifts plus free shipping. I count that as four free gifts. Go to genucell.com slash Knowles, genucell.com slash Knowles. Greta wrote, quote, a top climate scientist is warning that climate change will wipe out all of humanity unless we stop using fossil fuels over the next five years. And that was written in 2018. So, by my calculation, it was written in June of 2018, so I guess we've still got a little bit of time. And, and actually, in Greta's defense, the climate scientist and the, the journalists worded this in a way such that they're not saying that the world would end in five years. They're saying that we would get to the point of no return. <laughs> that humanity would be extinguished eventually if we don't stop using fossil fuels within five years. Huh? So th they're really smart about this. They always set the date of extinction at some point in the vague future, but they always create a really specific point of no return that we have to hit. 
They say, well, you know, we've reached that point of no return. But if we want to, to ameliorate the conditions of destruction, maybe now we just do whatever. We just do whatever the libs demand. How come you never protest Saudi Arabia or Russia? You only protest Western energy. Why have you never criticized Vladimir Putin or OPEC? <laughs> yeah, I've never done that. Never, ever. Well, will you do so now? Will you condemn OPEC energy? She won't. She won't answer the questions. Answer the question! She just dismisses them, which is probably the smart way to do it. Because it, it's not as though Greta Thunberg is a grassroots kind of activist or movement. Greta Thunberg has been astroturfed into the public imagination. She undertook these very expensive campaigns that were very well-funded and well-organized. She took that sailboat, remember, in that first trip across to call attention to the environmental crisis, even though it would have been far better for the environment had she just taken an airplane over to America instead of taking this boat with multiple people taking multiple airplanes to, to create this publicity stunt. So she doesn't need these moments. Her image is straight out of Hollywood. So if some, some conservative journalist comes up to her and asks her a question, she can just laugh it off. <laughs> she knows that the people who are really projecting her image, which are some of the most powerful people in the world, that video comes from the World Economic Forum in Davos. Those people will make sure that her image is just fine. Okay, next one. My message is that we'll be watching you. This is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. Yet you all come to us young people for hope. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. People are suffering. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction, and all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you? Not a persuasive performance. Right, <laughs> kind of cringe. At the time, it just read as scripted, and it didn't, it didn't really come off. But let's say that it were sincere you would have a great deal of sympathy for her because this girl, like all of these younger people, have been told that the world is going to end. And I, I include myself even in those younger people. I include people who are even older than me. We have been told in this country for 50 years now that global warming is going to kill everybody, or global cooling, I guess, is what they first worried about 50 years ago, or overpopulation, or any of this other nonsense. And they've said it's the greedy, awful, terrible people who are, who are doing it, and you have no hope. You're all going to die. And so if you're a gullible person, or if you're just a, a trusting person, you would be very upset about that. And in a way, they have stolen your dreams and your childhood because they, they've made you dedicate yourself to something that's just nonsense. It's just window dressing for liberal political elites who want to take more power and need, need a, an Armageddon-style excuse to do so. And so in a way, they have stolen her childhood. Now, they've, they've paid her pretty well for it. <laughs> Greta Thunberg has done pretty well for herself, probably better than she would have had she stayed in school and gotten an education, at least financially. I'm sure she's done much better. But she has been persuaded to devote her life to nonsense. Hi, Greta. Welcome to the UN, sir. You Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. President, you look amazing, by the way. <laughs> Trump just doesn't even acknowledge her. That's probably good. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. I guess she wasn't a child at that point. She's a bit older, but children are supposed to be seen and not heard in a great many cases, especially when their ideas are just very wrong. And and had Greta been been more inclined toward pursuing her education, she she probably would have been able to discern truth from falsehood and would not have been so suckered in by these fear-mongering liberal elites who will exploit anybody to take a little bit more power. Happy Earth Day. Try not to get murdered or composted by any of those charming environmentalists today. See you next time. The forest of Fangorn lies on our doorstep. Burn it.